Hey, what is going on, Madden family? Did you see or did you hear? EA said uh, flashbacks are coming tomorrow. And Madden Ultimate Team, pretty fun. But what does it mean? Yeah, you know, like it's cool news. It's great to hear. I love, I, I love hearing it. What does it mean? Well, there's no tokens this year. So how do you get them? Uh, in years past, they just put them in packs or they put them in sets um, with flashback collectibles and stuff or flashback pieces. But that's no fun, really. Um, nobody wants. They've gone away with the collectibles. No, not a thing anymore. So how are you gonna get them? Uh, I, we, I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna throw out my guess for you guys, and I think they're gonna pop up. In here somewhere so we've we've seen players in here right and something EA had talked about doing last year they implemented it this year it just seems a great place to expand on it with tokens being gone you could just quick sell the cards and essentially have a token um, for a cost now how much will it cost I, I wouldn't know I, I have no idea what the overalls would be I hope the overalls are really good I hope there's one really good chase card uh, ideally for me I would hope that it's like 86 through 89 or something along those lines, something like that, uh, where there's like the 80, like you, you need a chase card. You just need some a really, really desirable card. And you got to start out good. So you got to get eight to 10 or 12 players, bam, put them in set, have fun. Now, if it is to cost training, uh, so we see right now, just based on the idea uh, that we have how much the certain cards cost, right? So if we go look and we're gonna see uh, what it, like what does an 86 cost trading wise? Johnny Hecker is 1860 trading. So that means that if they made the pack 1860 trading, it's the cost of an 87. Now the problem is that if they actually do it in the, the trading store, you can do re-rolls. Oh, re-rolls. Interesting. Fun. How's that going to work? Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised then if it's somewhere around this price. Somewhere around this price. Because uh, there's got to be L's. You've got to lose. You have to have L's. I could see it being around 2,000 training. That's my... That's a, It's a fair guess. Now, 2,000 training is not cheap. But it's not terrible either, considering what you would get out of it. So, uh, if you had wanted to prepare based on that, you could. I'm not saying that this is what's happening. This is my hypothesis, okay? I could, I could be wrong, I could be right. But if you want to prepare, you could prepare, buy some cards, and uh, not, don't quick sell them, just buy them, and so then you can make a decision because if flashbacks are really good, and if flashbacks do use training to get the packs, what do you think is going to happen? The market will go up. Because the demand is there. Uh, the market is still really low. It's climbing. We, we talked about a video last week, or on the weekend, where these 88s were 100 to 110,000 coins. And they say, oh, well, it's only up 25,000 coins. It's only 20, 20 to thirty percent increase. Uh, it could go higher. It could it could easily go higher. So if you want to prepare, you can obviously prepare by getting training. But again, I wouldn't be quick selling cards just yet until we actually know. Because if you quick sell it and you get the training and the cards suck, you're out of luck. If you get the card, and you quick sell it to get the training, and they don't do it in the training store, you're out of luck. Um, if you want to take a risk, you could take a risk get some cards and prepare now based on that I wouldn't be surprised to see some of these cards we're gonna have I think one good defensive card one good offensive card would be my guess that's what I would do if I was in charge the offensive card you're looking around these 86 range because you know that's where EA likes to, to upgrade cards we've seen so far I could see uh, could see like a flashback Kels would be too bad a Trent Williams 
I don't think they would do a Julio just yet because it looks like Odell's getting the Mutt Superstars card. Uh, maybe some of these 84s, 85s. There could be some uh, really, really desirable cards. You know, I hope there might be a running back. I hope it's one of the low cards, though. But you're talking a Chris Harris flashback? A Christian McCaffrey flashback? Not too bad. Zach Ertz has already got a card. Devontae Adams. He's had some good times. Jamal, I mean, shit, give Jamal Adams a flashback. No, there's already too many strong safeties. Um, Deion Jones, you know? Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell. Lots of, lots of possibilities for who, like, the big chase cards could be. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm going to prepare for myself. Um, and as I always will tell you guys, you know, if I, if I do something, I, I can you know, let you guys know. But if you want to prepare, you have to be willing to lose coins, potentially. Okay? Because if you prepare and it doesn't go your way, you lose. Or you could win. Or you could just break even. So you have to, you have to be willing to lose. Uh, I'm willing to lose. I'm going to put some eggs in a basket today. Okay? I'm putting eggs in baskets. If you guys want to put eggs in baskets, you can. If you don't, that's fine. You don't have to. Maybe you don't want to participate in what they do. Maybe EA puts collectibles back in packs. I don't, who, who knows? But I think it makes a lot of sense that they changed this, the training thing from what was called like team items to training currency. Training currency. Now, I saw some people say, well, it could, it could be in the competitive currency store. I just don't see that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't think this needs anything else. I don't think the competitive currency needs anything else. Maybe jerseys. Or their alternate uniforms. I don't know. But I'm excited. Uh, if you guys have anyone that you want to get a flashback or you're hoping for to get a flashback, please put it down below. Let's see who's right. Let's see who's wrong. If I'm putting one name down, Deion Jones. That's who I want. Of any card in the game, I want a Deion Jones. Okay? Just give it to me. But whatever they drop, we'll open. We'll take a look at it. We'll check it out. We'll see if... If the cards are good, the cards are bad, and if however you get the cards is good or bad, or if you can make coins on it or training on it, because you can definitely make coins or training earlier on. So we'll see. Have fun. I'm excited. I'll see you guys at 10:30 tomorrow morning. There might be a gameplay tomorrow morning too at some point. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm out. Peace.